One of Michigan's longest and most anticipated waiting games, whether we will have one or two bridges across the Detroit River into Canada. And while we ponder that question, there is a thorny hidden issue needing resolution. Will the old bridge then stay or go? Our business editor Rob Maloney live tonight on the riverfront with more, Rob. Well, Devin, you know, the bridge is almost 100 years old. It's an antique for certain, but is it historic? Well, it turns out on this side of the, of the Detroit River, it absolutely is. But over on that side, <laughs> no way. They want to see it gone. And that, a decade ago, when the bridge company applied to both the U.S. and Canada to build its new bridge, two things happened. On the American side, as in the state and the feds, they all signed an agreement to make the old bridge eligible for the National Register of Historic Places. This agreement shows how it's supposed to be preserved, left right where it is, and historic displays of the construction be built. But then the Canadians approved the new bridge recently and had a strange demand. Bridge company president Dan Stamper tells us. You know, a year and a half later, Canada approves the permit and says you got to tear it down. So it is an unusual position to be in. Uh, when, it, when we got the permit from Canada, it was a surprise. A big surprise, considering the Canadians knew about the preservation plans. What's more, the Canadian government's demanding the old bridge come down first before the new one gets built, and it has to be done within five years. But the permit to build the new one is only for three years. So, says Stamper, it's stalling progress. So we got two countries wanting different things. One says build your new bridge, the other one says build your new bridge when you get permits to tear your old one down. So it's hurry up and wait as the entire one bridge, two bridge, or is it even three bridge questions swirl. The two countries are going to have to sort this out. I reached out to Transport Canada today, asked them what they had to say, and, well, their PR people sent me the permit, which is about 20 pages long. And then they said, we expect the bridge company to follow and live up to the terms of the permit. Reporting live on the Detroit River, Rod Maloney, Local 4.